Hey everybody, Josh Blazer here from GameWisdom.com. Welcome to a preview and spotlight of the upcoming game, Space Run Galaxy. This is the sequel to the original Space Run that I believe came out in 2015, maybe 2014, it's been a while. Anyway, this version I'm playing is a press early access build, so please keep in mind that what you're going to see and what we're going to talk about may not be indicative of the current version or the retail build when it's released, I believe, in June. Anyway, Space Run was a very interesting take on tower defense with some elements of roguelike and metagame progression, I guess. The idea was that your ship itself is essentially your tower, and you could configure it and alter it on the fly based on what's going on, and you had to do that due to the ever-changing number of threats that happened. I like the game, but my main problem with it was I felt it got a little too chaotic without the ability to pause. And I know that was a major part of the game's design. With Space Run Galaxy, from what I've played so far, unfortunately it doesn't sound like they've gone around that issue, but instead they've made up by adding in a lot more metagame design and essentially fleshing out what you're going to do in the game. So we're going to show that off in this video. The story is that the main guy from the first game now runs his own cargo shipping company in the future and you're one of the new guys trying to become rich and famous. As with the first game, you're still going to go on missions, but it seems like there's a lot more leeway in terms of fleshing out your ship and coming up with potential strategies to deal with the threats. And once the game finishes loading, we will hopefully be able to see that. There you go. So as you can see, I'm still very, very early in the game. We'll click on this area as you here. Progress, as yeah, thank you. As with the first game, you're going to assign modules to your ship. As you can see, I have a basic one up here. You have offensive, defensive, and then utilities, which are like special ones. As you go on missions, you'll earn resources and crafting components, which let me guess, you need some. This guy here will let you turn into more modules, which you can then add to your ship. And it's just basically that positive feedback loop of the more you play, the more you'll enhance, which will unlock more content, etc., etc. As you can see, they also have special abilities. A basic but sound choice. This guy's voice can get a little bit annoying Uninspired, after a while. Uninspired, but useful choice. Thank you. Okay. As you progress, yeah, yeah. Is Hopefully, the game won't crash on us. Let's Space see. Runners. Okay. I am well, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to skip the story no, again because this, this is just all more set. the prereqs of the game. Alright, so we have a mission. We can get 50% of this stuff over. Here are our rewards. So I we'll accept it. nothing but the best. So we need to go to the tour mines. So you can also change like, the color of your tiles now. So what's interesting is that you now have the option of transporting these materials with you to various space stations which will let you basically construct different modules. So if you look at this one, he only has the space for blue, green, and yellow. So my reds just won't work here. But if I wanted to do it otherwise, I would add them to my ship. So what you need to do first, we need to put all this stuff on. And this is very important because part of the strategy of the game is deciding where you're going to fit modules because their position will determine their effectiveness. Oh, and you can see this thing is a big one, so I'm going to have to try and twist it just how I want it. And again, by doing that, I'm limiting what I can place in these positions. And then as you play more of uh, Space Run Galaxy, you will unlock more modules, more tiles, and you'll essentially be able to do more. So here we go. So the game is basically a tower defense. OK. 
Okay, so we have alert that there is an enemy down here. It shows you the position and where they're going to, how many are going to be coming. Ready to blast. Now I can't pause the game, unfortunately, so I just want to stop for a second to explain the basic rule. The mission is to get to the end of our little track, as you can see down here, while keeping our cargo intact and without, of course, blowing up. Our main ship, or main piece, is the core or the hull right here. If this blows up, we lose. Getting through a mission just willy-nilly will earn you some basic resources, but if you want the best, you need to add thrusters, which will increase your speed, and will hopefully give you rewards for being it at either light speed, express, and stuff like that. And to do that, we need to add the thrusters, which are of course a lot more. I'm going to add a plasma right a here. Wise choice, as always. Which lets me move it as I see fit. Weapon ready. So you can see it's gonna kill them. I pick up these, I think they're called hug nuts in this game. No, hex nuts, my bad. Once I have enough for a space thruster, I will want to add it on. I can take stuff off and sell it, but you need to be careful not to get rid of something that you need. You can also use like a special ability. So let's see what it does. Wait for it. Not bad. Now that I have enough for... Oh, let me just kill these guys. Now that I have enough for a thruster, I'm going to add one on which gives me more focus. Why and choice? focus will increase, will let me use these special abilities more. Who doesn't love a good oh. thrust? We've just been told that there is a ship closing in on us. Ow. If it blows up, I will need to get repaired. So apparently somebody is coming from this At way. Your command. Ready to blast. Ow. See, this is a lot slower. That's not going to do much for me there. Oh man, I really liked that construct. Can't wait to see how this helps us. No, we'll use his special power to try and do more damage. Ready to shoot. Construction on its way. Cannon ready. Nice. That's gonna be enough. So that. Put another thruster on. I can only choice, put on a few more. Always. I think that's it. Who doesn't love a good thrust? <laughs> so two, we should be able to handle this. You mean they blow up one? I hope we got some more to replace this one. All right. We'll add another laser cannon over here. On its way. Let's see, if we can destroy these things before they get to us. ready. Trying to beat the light speed time. It looks like we're starting to do it. If we have more thrusters, we could possibly do it that way. But we may not have enough go for it. Plus the plasma cannon was destroyed, I can't build another one. I don't think I'm gonna do it. We'll see. Excellent. No. All of our cargo made it. So if I had one more thruster, there's a good chance I will have gotten the best rating for that mission. Okay, let's see, we got the silver. That. Thanks to this delivery, the Space Gate's repairs are speeding up. I won't waste more of your time chatting. It's bad for business. Alright. Let let's see what guess. he has this time. You need something. We could build another shield generator. 
Uninspired, but useful choice. So I think I'm going to build another thruster, so that will hopefully give me a chance of getting higher scores on these missions. A basic but sound choice. And then of course we're gonna add more to our Can't ship. Can't have too much utility. So I will add another thruster. Doesn't crafting make you feel proud? Nice to see you pick with and your head instead of your heart. A wise choice. So great to see you again. All right, so we can add more to our little ship here. So we have a basic shape which we have to adhere to. Right. Yes, I oh. agree. It definitely needs some adjustments. Gotta make my ship look nice and fancy, right? So I will add the four, one, two, three, four. Again, this will give me more room to do things here, and basically be able to add more to the ship and hold. Looks more like we're as in well. good shape. All right, so that's done. Let's Captain, go on another mission. I have another hey, rookies. Don't they do very good, rookie droid? Huh? Mr. Bad, I've heard so. Uh, yeah. We'll okay, just skip the story. You. Your skills are needed. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right, so we have two missions we can do. Glad to see you're ready to work. So you can see the different cargo Hello. has different I need you issues this. to deal with. Your skills are needed. All right, we'll do this one Travel since with it's caution. the main one. Deal. This delivery is very urgent. All right. So we go back up here and look at the system map. Materials you don't spend on spots mm -hmm. will stay there until you move them. Try to bring these. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hmm. Oh, there we go. So we could possibly do both these missions at the same time. So we don't need red. Captain, I feel you are now experienced enough to load cargo at your own convenience. Cargo you don't... Yeah, yeah. So they want... We can move red. Possibly get all these on board. I don't think we have enough room to fit everything here, though. I have three thrusters. One, two, three. Better leave room. Uh, I can move over there. This is going to be very risky, but we'll see. We can just do everything in one fell swoop. And this is like the strategy of Space Run and Space Run Galaxy. Trying to figure out how to build your ship, where to place the modules. Alright. So again, we've been given the alert. There is an enemy coming from over here. So this time, I'm going to build a thruster right Don't away. worry about ammo. See, we're getting hex nuts as time moves on. So this should be able to handle it. If I want to, I could build a defense generator too. At your command. Build this over here. See, if we can do some damage. We have more firepower. to see how this helps us. And this kind of switching in and out is very important to the game. So let's see if we can get a manual shot. Wow. 
Right away. Is it good? Ready to shoot. Do it, blow it up. Good. Well, right poster. away. So something bad Speed is gonna be coming. Is good. Quite an interesting choice. We have more firepower. Got a fresh new one there. You can see we are really running out of room though. This is an enemy ship that's trying to kill us. There you go. Knock out his main thing. That should be able to fries with enough there. Construction on its way. I love to see bullets bounce off our shields. We got a little shield there for our group. See, these guys are closing in, so we will need to adjust. I'm gonna make a plasma Construction right here. start. Ready to shoot. You always surprise me. Hey, stop shooting myself. You can see down here we have gone beyond the high speed here, so we're going to get a really good score. Uh oh. As you can see, we got a lot of danger coming. So I think I will sell you. Oh. Apparently, you can only sell them enough time. Eek. Oh, and we are about to be hurt really, really bad. Lost. We're about to get hurt really bad. Oh man, I really Stop like that construct. Oh. Construction start. All right. Well, the good news is we made it through with the quest. That should give us a good boost. More than enough, actually. Wahoo! Captain, you truly are the fastest space runner in the galaxy. So you can see with the progression, you do need to buy more and more copies of modules so you have more to deal with. Let's see our objectives. <laughs> well done! Yeah, yeah. We are eager to start we'll the analysis again. on these samples. So these are new things we have. Wow, you are as good as Buck said uh, you were. And this were. were the second mission we did. The Space Merchant Guild has a branch on this location. If you wish to visit... Alright, what do you have? Hello, Space Runner. I hope you're ready. Ah, yeah. no cap. Oh, so this will give us different kinds of ships we can buy. I am your business bridge to other Space Runners. Now, these are just profiles or pictures we can do. Take a close look at my stock. Okay. Hmm. How much money do we have? We have A750. 
This looks like it will be like the next best thing. We have a lot of room to play around with. Well, this one's almost out. So is this, too. Base cells. 19 plus 9. So this has more room for growth. This one just gives you more to start with. It's almost like an FTL ship there. <laughs> Alright, so just for the hell of it, we will build the Ranger. I thank you. What did you break now? Okay. Says missiles anywhere on the ship. Sounds pretty useful. Construction complete. Can't have too much utility. So the idea is that the plasma cannons, you want to place them in areas that are designed to hit multiple points and keep the lasers in there is that you just want to focus on one spot. Nice to see you pick with your head instead of your heart. Okay. I hope they uh, turn off these little repeated voices in the main game. Alright, we'll build another one of those. Doesn't crafting make you feel proud? And we'll build another laser just in case. I do enjoy crafting. You can see there's advanced modules so you have to move them in and out as well. Back to the basics. Alright. So now if we come back over here to the space. Nice to see you again. We can switch our design. Maybe we could improve this ship a little. And now of course we have room for four more cells. Two. All right. Almost, I'm getting like that feeling from Space Pirates and Zombies too here, with like trying to craft your ship and then place everything on there. Ship right. shape and ready to go. So this will be our main ship for right now. All right. So we come back over here to our missions. Hey. <laughs> okay. I don't know why he makes. Oh. Super intelligent monkey there. Go to the map, we can see where these quests are. So there's a mission over here. Alright, let's do it. When we hit level 4, we'll unlock a mission from Buckman. Glad to see you're ready to work. Right, and so I think she has a mission. We need to come over, we need to drop something off back up there. Alright, let's do. Let's see what you're made of. The monkeys' mission Simon, Simon Gibbons. Gibbons. <laughs> Captain. I'm happy to report okay. that you now to access these features. Please take a look at the new sections accessible. Uh -huh. So that's one of the new things you can do. You can set things up for sales. You can have friends come and help you, I guess. Or maybe it's just like a cooperative like multiplayer kind of thing or metagame. These are the missions we've unlocked so far. These are the runs we've done. As you can see, there's quite a lot of them. So uh, let me check the time here. We're about 24 minutes, and we'll do maybe one, two more. I think that will call for the spotlight. So with our new ship, let me just double check. We don't need blue, so I would have to move that over here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so first we gotta deal with one. And of course, if I wanted to, I could take less on, but then I have to make the trip multiple times essentially. So, one, two, um, three, four. And again, if I want, I can take some blues along with me. Mm. 
I don't want to put any more on because I think I may just overwhelm myself. Alright, here we go again. Hopefully this time I'll pay attention and uh, have my things blow up. So we have some asteroids coming. Quite an interesting choice. Oh, more plays. Can this guy Don't do worry about position? ammo. Yeah. You go there. And we'll start building up our thrusters. At your command. I like moving fast. Surprise me. Down there. Fire at will. So we can activate the emergency shot here. Oh. Ow. Can we want you speed? Always surprise me. Can do that. Speed is good. Okay, so we have something coming over there. So you can see the advantage of this, I can place it anywhere on the ship. A wise choice, as always. Still doing good time wise. Oh, I didn't notice you guys down there. Which means this is about to get hurt really bad. Hey, we don't have unlimited resources. Again, this is the problem I had with the first game, that it's very hard to pay attention when you have multiple alerts coming from multiple from these different directions. Let's see apparently we have trouble there. And we have an enemy ship coming from that way. Quite an interesting choice. So let's get some more thrusters back on. Weapon ready. See what happens. Oh my god. Oh, that's not gonna be really good for us, is it? Quite an interesting choice. Weapon ready. Turn this over here. Try to do a double laser. I'm not liking the fact that the modules are limited now. Because it makes being able to adapt on the fly even more punishing as you can see right here. Lost. Okay, go away alright, just keep hitting me. Well, I can't build that. Hey, but... we don't have unlimited resources. Oh that's right, I don't need more thrusters. On its way. Oh, uh, what? Again? Where are you from? Weapon ready. Hmm. I think we've lost this one. I think we've literally have lost this one. We only have one of those things on. Wise choice. Shield done. I feel safer already. Mm -hmm. We have no more.
four thrusters, so that's screwed. Quite an interesting choice. Ready to blast. some more to replace this one. And this is what makes it really annoying to fight these little mini ball ships. They can basically move around your entire ship. You're kind of just stuck right here. Unlimited resources. Oh, I think this one destroy this. Let's see what happens. Yep. Oh man, I really liked that construct. Yeah, so now we're basically just like dead floating in space. What I'm seeing, it kind of feels like they've made the game even more punishing than the last time. Because I don't remember them giving you a limit on the number of modules it you could equip. It seems we've lost some parts of the ship in space. Don't feel bad. I'm sure we'll do better next time. Now, here's a part that I actually want to see. If we have to repair those cells, that's really going to make this game frustrating. And we lost all of our... Well, we lost most of our cargo. Captain, always a pleasure. One, two, three, four. Okay, well, that's at least good. You're just the pilot I've been looking for. Hmm? Wait, do we have to go back, I guess? Oh, so you can fast travel if you don't want to transport anything. That's really damn good. <laughs> so now you can repeat it again, go for more. You can see I've mastered this one, but we still have to do from here to here. And I think that's it. So there's the my spotlight of the Space Run Galaxy. I guess for right now, it's pretty much like the first game, just with an expand metagame component. I'm not liking the fact that if you sell or try to replace parts, it counts towards your total. Because you can see how that can really come back to screw you when you're dealing with sh ships that can fly around and all that. And that was where my problem was with the last game. That due to how it's designed, it's very hard to keep track and manage everything. Which is part of the game's design, but... I'm not sure how well this is going to hold up over multiple, multiple plays. And you can see where sort of this grinding is going to come in with having to transport cargo to and from these places in order to build stuff. And you can see there's still quite a number left. Oh, you can sell stuff that you don't need. Okay. You can sell material. Yeah, yeah, thank you. But anyway, that's it. I'll probably do another spot of the game closer to the game's release. Just to see how things have changed, if anything's been improved at all. I'm hoping that they will ease up on some of these restrictions. Or at least make it a little easier to just, like, figure out what is going on. Keep track of things during a play. But anyway, that's going to do it. So, hopefully this gave you a good idea of what Space Run Galaxy is. The game is due out, I believe, by the end of June. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to share with your friends and of course like and subscribe to the channel. Check out game-wisdom.com where I examine the art and science of games. Subscribe on Twitch and Twitter under GW Bicer to get the latest updates when content goes live. And you can find me on Patreon under Game Wisdom. Alienations would be greatly appreciated and allow me to keep pointing out great content and bring back a fan favorite feature to the site. 
Anyway, that's going to do it for the spotlight of Space Run Galaxy. See you all next time with another game to take a look at. Take care.